Hi, and welcome to another edition of Two Minute Tuesday, where I attempt to present a topic to you in two minutes or less. In this episode, we'll add the user-defined field we created in the last video to the user interface. Let's put two minutes on the clock. We'll begin by activating developer mode and opening the base version of the sales order entry form. Then we'll select customization from the tools menu to open the developer tools. Once the customization tools are open, just move them out of the way or off to a secondary monitor if you have one. In this example, we're going to resize this native group box to make room for our custom controls. Next, we open the toolbox from the tools menu where we will find the list of available controls we can add. For today's exercise, we'll add the Epi Combo control. We can move or close the toolbox for now. Back in the Customization Tools window, we'll want to bind our control to the UD fields we created in the last episode. We also want to name our controls something that will make sense for the current customization. I'm a big fan of Save Early, Save Often, so let's make sure to save our customization as well. Now that we have the combo box added, we'll also add a label to it so the users know what it is. Be sure to change the text for your label and then name it something appropriate. Once that's done, we can select the combo box again and assign the label we just created. For the last bit here, we'll fix up some of the cosmetic things nicely by changing the size and location of our two new controls so that they fit nicely on the form. Then we'll save our customization and add a little note about what we modified. This will save us some trouble later if we can't remember what it was that we changed. Now that our customization is complete, we need to modify the menu so that order entry launches with our new customization instead of the base form. Open Menu Maintenance and navigate to the task you want to modify, in this case, Sales Order Entry. Select the customization that we just made. Next, we'll need to relaunch Epicor to see the changes we made to the menu system. And there you have it, we've now added a user-defined field to Sales Order Entry. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.